This is my greatest enemy, Crimson Coral. She's a super epic, pay to win, and way too overpowered. For the past two weeks, nothing could be done about her reign of terror. But then the new update changed everything. Frill Jellyfish just got released, and I think she's one of the counters to Crimson Coral. In order to see if this is true or not, I'm gonna fight her with this new Frill Jellyfish team. Is it even possible to defeat Coral without using her yourself? Well, let's see. And that's only a small sample of Frill Jellyfish's true power. This is a story of how I found the best Frill Jellyfish arena teams. Three teams so powerful they defined the meta, putting in hours of arena testing just to defeat my greatest enemy, the most pay to win cookie Crimson Coral. But first, let's go back to the beginning. Before Frill Jellyfish existed, I made this video about trying to defeat her. The counters in that video proved to be quite ineffective for a lot of people, so that's when I decided to use a new cookie frill jellyfish. However, her skill's quite confusing to say the least. Like what exactly does she do? Is she a damage dealer? Is she a healer? Or is she like a debuffer? Well, I'm gonna help you understand what her role in the team is. First of all, her healing's just not that good. If she never dies during the battle, you get zero healing. Let's say that she does die early on. Her healing's really bad compared to snapdragon, so she's definitely not a healer. Her damage output is quite low compared to other DPS like Stardust and Black Pearl. However, she has a 1 second start, which is really important. She also stuns the enemies for quite a while, and she amplifies the amount of water damage your cookies do. So this means Frill Jellyfish is a support, and blah blah blah, let's just move on. This right here is a new standard. Frill Jellyfish stuns the opponent, then your damage healers straight up kill everyone before they can fight back. So I discovered this team by looking at YouTube videos. This is so popular that it's pretty much all over the internet already. Anyways, before the release of Frill and Sorbet's Magic Candy, this Moonlight comp used to be the most popular. So let's try out Frill Jellyfish and let's see what happens. So that's one way I can counter my enemy's Crimson Coral. Here's all the toppings and stuff, pause to read. I'm sure many people told you already that this team exists, but how do you use it properly? Well, here's where my arena testing comes into play. It's really good against Moonlight Tri DPS and Clotted Cream Tri DPS. It's okay against double healers and Sorbet Frill combos. It's not the best choice, but not the worst either. And it's bad against this mysterious scam comp. So my end goal is to get revenge on Crimson Coral for being pay to win by countering her in every way possible. However, using this Frill Stardust team on its own is not enough. While I was grinding trophies inside the arena, I discovered something new. Sometimes you just encounter new things while playing the game normally, which is how I discovered this Frill Sorbet combo. Ever since Sorbet got a new magic candy, they became really good. I consider this to be my favorite defensive option. It counters T Knight and Scam teams really well. It's good against Moonlight Chai DPS and Clotted Chai DPS, and it's decent against all the other teams except except for double healer. It's weaker against Parfait than Peppermint because she's a lot harder to one-shot with a Frill Sorbet combo. It's also really easy to make it so that your opponent doesn't know if you're using Sorbet or Stardust. Wait a second, what does this have to do with countering Crimson Coral? It doesn't counter Coral any differently from the first team. Well, you see, there's another way for me to defeat Crimson Coral no matter what type of counter I use. A strategy I've been working on for the past three years. You see, since I'm free to play, I don't get the same advantage as other people who have a Ascensions and high level crystal jam. So for the past 3 years, I've been making my sugar gnome laboratory very overpowered. Even though an opponent may have way better ascensions than I do, and even though it's hard to tell who would win based on this team matchup alone, I believe that I can use my hard work as brute force to defeat this opponent. It's time to fight Crimson Coral again.
Here's the toppings for the sorbet fill combo. So there's an issue with the first two teams I mentioned. They both have coral in it. Also, they both aren't the best choice against double healers. So is there a way to defeat Crimson Coral without using her yourself, as well as countering double healers? Well, me and these three other people in my Discord server decided to create a team. A team so powerful that it can one-shot Crimson Coral. Anyways, eight days before this video was uploaded, all four of us worked together to create this. You have already seen how powerful this team was at the beginning of the video. It destroys double healer. It's good against the Stardust Frill combo. It's also good against Moonlight Tri DPS. However, it isn't good against the Sorbet Frill combo. Avoid Clotted Tri DPS too. With this team, I'm finally able to counter Crimson Coral in every way possible. But in order to prove that I've done so, I'm gonna push all the way up to Grandmaster. Yes, it will be difficult because I'm free to play. It's gonna be difficult because it's pretty early in the season. But I'm gonna do it anyways. It's time to take down my greatest enemy. Alright, you get the point by now. I won quite a few times, but I also lost a lot. Especially once I reached top 900, it got pretty difficult. But now, it's time to fight the Grandmaster too. Although the odds are stacked against me, I'm gonna take her down once and for all. It took two whole videos to counter Crimson Coral, but it is what it is. Also, there's something else that's important to mention. I kinda released these arena teams to the public a little too late. This is because I didn't really have that much time in real life to work on this video. Anyways, you should subscribe. Cause I'm poor. Alright, see ya.